WB3 AGL. Hello, Charlie A. WB3, uh, give me the rest, WB3. Alpha Golf Lima. All right, WB3 Alpha Golf Lima. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I'm running a um, Centec Omni 6 Plus. Uh, barefoot, 100 watts into a C5RB, and uh, you are 5 by 9 solid. Uh, there's no static at all when you're talking. It sounds beautiful. But I've just got this rig and just got it on the air, and I'm curious how it sounds. Over. Uh, Roger there. What's the name, please? The name here is Paul. I live about 100 miles northeast of Pittsburgh, PA. Over. Roger, Paul. I'm getting a lo little uh, low-frequency blow-by from adjacent channel, but like I said, I think we're probably given as good as we're getting, so uh, we'll just uh, uh, maintain. And uh, so, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let me hear you a little bit there, sir. Yeah, I'm curious, too, what you're running. Uh, your microphone and your rig, you sound uh, really, really good. Um, I'm used to a... Uh, I used to run a, uh, a, a Kenwood TS-8 uh, 30S, and... Uh, I got this 10 tech on the 6 plus and I uh, love the QSK, love the solid state finals and everything about it, but uh, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, I just don't know what it sounds like yet, so over. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, what kind of mic are you running there? It's a 10 tech 705, uh, it's an older one. Oh, uh, dynamic? Yes, sir. Okay, you know, the um, thing is, dynamics are... are Reliable, trustworthy, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, condenser mics, uh, on the other hand, are the same, but they have a, a much uh, um, more articulated uh, top end. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, the thing is, uh, maybe you, you could use a little more top end EQ. And I, I'm going to say that to most folks that are running dynamic microphones because, you know, there are starting to be a lot of folks running condenser mics, and those condenser mics just are so are so nice. I mean, they're just so reach out and touch you in the same room. Uh, and it's particularly noticeable like on ICOM and the 7300 and the 7610. Those uh, stock hand mics uh, outperform, in general, most of the desk mics that they uh, get swapped out for, you know. I've been told that. I um, uh, had a hand mic on this and I put this mic on just because it's more convenient. I do have a deep bassy voice anyway, so it doesn't surprise me that the high is moving all over. Roger. Well, it, you know, but then of course uh, the hand, the condenser hand mic has a drawback in that you have to work it a particular way. You can't work directly into a condenser microphone without a windscreen uh, usually. And uh, so what happens is you wind up with a lot of transients and uh, plosives, you know, and uh, that uh, hand mic. But there's a way to work that, uh, uh, that condenser hand mic uh, by pulling it to the side of your mouth and just talking across it. Uh, that way it solves all of the problems of transients and, um, you know, plosives and stuff like that. But it's, uh, you know, obviously less convenient than a desk mic. So now that we're in, the, you know, like with a desk mic, uh, we probably would want to uh, increase that uh, top EQ, maybe 3 or 4 dB, uh, leave the mid-range flat, and come up on that top end and uh, give it a boost, and that will increase your intelligibility, uh, your articulation uh, by uh, boosting your syllabic range. Roger. And Paul, I don't know what happened, but the bottom fell out, sir. Uh, you are uh, under my noise level now. Uh, you did uh, become under my noise level. Try one more time. Let's see where it's going. Oh, Roger, I uh, switched to the hand mic. Apparently, it doesn't work as well. Well, now, I don't know. I heard you that time. I think we just had uh, Mother Nature uh, doing a, a number there. Come back and talk some more, sir. Yeah, I switched back to the desk mic again. Is the hand mic a condenser mic or a dynamic mic? I am not sure. I've never taken it apart. Roger, Roger. Should say on the mic whether it's a dynamic or a condenser somewhere. All it says is the Model 700. Uh, I've never looked it up. It came and I put the 705 desk mic. Roger, who, who, do you know who makes that hand mic? I 
10 sec. Uh, try again. It's a 10 sec. It's a uh, it's, uh, 10 sec uh, model 700. Roger, Roger. Probably a, a dynamic. Uh, it sounds like it would be a dynamic. I, I didn't notice a, a big uh, clarity difference when you switched from your desk mic to your hand mic. So I'm assuming that the, the hand mic is a, a dynamic mic, Roger. Yeah, I'm assuming so, but I'm not sure. Roger, well, we've got you uh, recorded, uh, and the only thing other would be if you want to, uh, you know, play with your EQ and come up three or four on the top end, uh, see what that does. I don't know how to do that on this rig yet. I don't know if I have it. It's probably in a menu if it is, and I'm not sure how to get it, but uh, I have a processor on this too, but when I turn the processor on, it just seems to work. Roger, Roger. Well, I'm getting some blow-by, so I, you know, I can't, uh, if you had a little stronger signal, I could tell a little bit more. So anyway, we have some done on tape, so if you go to YouTube in the next couple of days and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to the Acuso Vlog page, and on that page, I look for a, um, a session called My Group Air Check 12-28-18. My group air check twelve twenty eight eighteen. Roger. So, Paul, you have faded out now. So, let me say threes to you, sir, and uh, we'll catch you uh, maybe next Friday. And catch you next Friday if you get a chance. Uh, check by. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll be here and uh, we can compare notes. Uh, so, threes for now, and have a good afternoon. This is KC9VKV and the Friday afternoon KISO Vlog program where we air check between now and 5 Eastern. And if you have a radio, you want to check out the audio, give me a shout. We'll record it and then post it up on YouTube. KC9VKV.